Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the timing marks on our 2008 Yamaha R6 motor. Pretty simple to find. Let me go grab a couple of tools and I'll show you where they are. All right, guys, this is going to be a skill level one, so it's going to be pretty simple to get to. As far as the tools you're going to need, just a decent 3 8 ratchet, an extension, a 8 and 14 millimeter socket, and then a 5 millimeter Allen. Once you've got those together, we can go in there and take a peek. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop the drain plug and uh, see if there's anything left in here, if anything. So we can go ahead and proceed forward. And let's go ahead and get this uh, valve cover off. Then we're going to pull this cover right here. And that actually has the timing marks to where we can bring the motor around to top dead center. You just kind of make a mental note where each one of these little uh, brackets are. If not, you'll have to come back and uh, rewatch the video to see where they went. It's actually called the pickup rotor cover. There she comes. All right, we're getting ready to bring it around to top dead center, but the spark plugs are still in it. So let's go ahead and get those pulled. That way it'll be much easier to turn it over. Looks like this one was burning pretty clean. All those look good, nice and even. All right, we're gonna bring it around to top dead center and there's two things that we're gonna look for. One, this mark right here is gonna line up where the, uh, the, uh, the crankcase meets together. And you can't really see it, but I can. That little line is right there. The other thing that's gonna signify it being at top dead center on the compression stroke is that the camshaft lobes are gonna be facing up. So, let's bring that around, turning it clockwise. That puts us at top dead center. And if you'll notice, our camshaft lobes here and here are both pointing up. That little eyes in line with the, with the head. Top dead center, intake and exhaust. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up as far as showing you how to you know, set the timing on this particular motor. Well, listen, if you need to see the entire motor built, believe me, we've got a, a whole video series that shows you how to do that. If you need any of the parts associated with this motor, why don't you come over to PartZilla.com and we can get you taken care of no matter what you need. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.